Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Palm Harbor. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, the world lost an amazing man, Mr. Warner Hosh. For all who knew him, know his generosity and caring will stay with us forever. His lesson of kindness can change the world if we all do our part. His daughter, Fran's mission in life is to help others and pass it forward as she learned this from her dad. We honor the memory of Mr. Warner Hosh. Kindness can change the world. Also on this show, it's the Suncoast Brotherhood Toy Run, the Fran Hosh Food Drive, Fidelis Auto Feature, and the amazing Endo Makoto. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Hi, this is Fran Hosh. I never miss reading my copy of Born to Ride magazine, and neither should you. Born to Ride, number one. I'm publisher Ron Galetti, and I approve this message. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Welcome to our 41st annual Suncoast Brotherhood Toy Run. time here is supporting the Pinellas County foster and adoptive parents and everything that we do goes to help the kids. enough to be with the organization 30 years so I've seen foster children that are now foster parents want to give a big shout out to American Legion post 275 and the Fran Hosh Law Group for their support and thank you to the Bearded Brothers for donating their gig today have a great day all Merry Christmas We are here for our sixth annual food drive today, and I'm so proud the amount of donations that we've received already today. My father was killed one week before the war ended. Never came back. The Poles came and they said, you have 20 minutes to leave. If you don't leave in 20 minutes, you will all be shot. My mother had four boys. I was the second one. 
The youngest one was two days old. Uh, sometimes we had to survive just on regular grass for days. There was no food, there was nothing. There's this American soldier and he gives me part of a sandwich. What's happened? And my mother uh, was the one who was the savior for all of us. Because if you have four kids <clears throat> and everybody wants something to eat and nobody gets anything because there is nothing there, then you have to make the decision. Do I go on or do I go in the river with everybody? A lot of people went into the rivers and just died. And we couldn't swim, so we all, all died. But my mother took a different avenue and said, no matter what it takes, I'm gonna go that avenue. My, my mother received a letter from Werner's mother, I believe it was 1946 or 47, and it was a, actually was addressed to my dad, but it was addressed to a different address. And my mother sent it back. She said, no, this isn't, doesn't belong to us. The letter came again. She sent it back once more. And then it came one third time, and she opened it then. And it was a letter from Werner's mother asking for help. They were refugees after the war in, in Europe, in Germany. And she started to send them packages of numerous items. And that's continued for many years probably six years, and they became very good friends. They never met each other, but they stayed in contact with, through the mail. And it's, it was something that was near and dear to my parents' heart to send this, and actually we had some of my aunts and uncles actually contributed too. Oh, it was very important for me <laughs> to see my uh, savers safe us. Werner came to this country in 1968 and he came to visit us at our farm and it was quite interesting to meet him at that time. I was quite young then. When I came to them, it was 1968 and my English was very limited and uh, of course I thanked them. I was very happy to see them and to meet them finally and uh, they welcomed me with full arms, open arms. At that time, uh, Mrs. Radke was still alive, Marcella Radke, and then James Radke, he was the youngest, I assume, and there were three daughters. And I remember them very well when they took me out, the first time for a rodeo, I never saw a rodeo. We could tell that he was very, very grateful for everything that we had sent to him and his family. Uh, we knew at that time that he was very sincere. Uh, we know that a lot of other people send care packages too, but we don't. This is one that went out of his way to come and meet us. We thought that was very special. Uh, he stayed in touch with my family, my mother, my sisters, and us um, for many years now, and we've, we've come to know him. He's visited, visited Wisconsin, I believe, three or four times. And uh, this is our second trip down to Florida to see him. We're here today to help out with a food drive. We met Fran a couple of years ago. She's doing a lot of wonderful things here. We have over $2,000 in cash donations plus an entire trailer full of food today. I am just absolutely amazed by the generosity of people, how much they've reached out to help others in our community. And if it wasn't for the generosity and compassion of the Rodka family, who is not really our family, but they are from America, sending the care packages to save my grandmother, I would not be here today. My grandmother would tell me about the spam. That was her favorite thing. <laughs> the spam and the coffee. Sometimes they would get burlap sacks. She could make clothes for the boys out of it. She told me that all four boys never had shoes at the same time. So if she could make a pair of shoes and they could use them at different times to go outside. And They have both taught me my entire life how important it is to be generous to those, even people that you don't know. And even the small amounts that you can give can make a huge difference in someone's lives, really. My father was always so generous growing up 
and I didn't really understand the whole backstory at that time. He would go find homeless people at Thanksgiving, always gave turkeys to all of his employees. He's the most generous person to a homeless man on the side of the road. It was hard for me to understand at that time as being a five-year-old, but the more time I spent with my grandmother and she told me the stories of what they had been through, so easy for me to understand. And that is the whole reason that we're here today. It's so, so important for me to give back just a little bit. Fran is, she's such an icon. She is uh, someone that we all look up to and admire because she gives back so much. Anybody who needs help anytime, children, families, veterans, animals, she's always there to go above and beyond. She sponsors more events and does more things than I think she honestly gives more than she takes home. I would venture to say that. She's the most generous heart. Anybody that genuinely needs her, she is there to support. We've gotten to know Werner's daughter Fran in the law office here and she's told me that she's inspired by what my parents had done for for their family and quite frankly we're quite inspired by what she's doing for everybody else. I can't tell you how happy it makes me today. I woke up with a huge smile on my face knowing that this was going to be this wonderful day that we can give back and make a difference in someone's life. And I was really hoping to have this amazing food drive, but I had no idea it was going to be as successful as it is today. I really am looking forward to Saturday unloading the food with our children so that we can make sure to show them how important it is to continue to do this. And I want our boys to continue the legacy of Al Mahash and the Rodka family to change lives.
okay? I think we're parked, man. Hey, man. I think we're in Chopper Town. Chopper Town. Oh, Chopper Town. Chopper Town. Chopper Wildwood Antique Mall's three amazing locations in Florida to find your treasures. Vero Beach, Eustace, Wildwood. More than just antiques, tons of rare collectibles, toys, books, vintage furniture, records, jewelry, and so much more. Open seven days a week. Great staff, clean, and air conditioned. A great shopping pleasure for the whole family. Put it on your bucket list because it's a must-see at these three locations. For more information, wildwoodantiquemalls.com. Seas Rally, world's only motorcycle rally on a cruise ship, free drinks, and 13 months to pay, and it sails October 29th through November 5th, 2022. $100 discount per cabin. Use promo code BTR. For more info, go to HighSeasRally.com. That's the High Seas Rally, October 29th through November 5th, 2022. Don't miss the High Seas Rally. everyone who came out and all the donations that kept coming all day long. And we are so, so very grateful. The amount of food that we get from this food drive honestly sustains us for months and months. At the Feast Food Pantry, we generally see about 2,600 people every single month. So imagine that, 2,600 people that are coming to us for food. And we honestly would not be able to provide food without this food drive. We're just so appreciative of the community coming out like this and really showing up and uh, you know giving. And it's what we're here for. We're here to serve, and it's a beautiful thing. Today uh, we came out, Fire and Iron came out to help Fran with the food drive. We love to come and do this for her uh, to give back for what she does for us. This is something we've been doing as long as we've known Fran uh, and making sure that the pantry stays filled uh, and will always be filled as long as we're here and uh, we really enjoy doing this. This is so important for Feast Food Pantry because in the last two months, our shelves have been at the bare minimum. We're servicing so many families in the area right now, and this gives us an opportunity to really be able to help out for the holidays and keep up with the demand that's on us right now. We have people coming from all over to this event today in order to feed the families in our area. We serve all of North Pinellas County, and the need is so great. So after it goes here, we're gonna bring it to our facility where it'll get, um, we'll check the dates, organize it, and then we'll pack it all up for families. So having an event like this today, it is just so huge in helping all the people that need food in the area. Jeremy Brer, I own Fidelis Automotive, um, located in Valrico, Florida. We specialize in American and Japanese. European, I can get through them, we can get by them, but my main focus and specialized skill set is Toyota, Lexus, Acura, Honda, um, and all the Americans, Ford, Chevy.
started the repair shop back in 2012. Um, formerly Fidelis Automotive Services of Tampa. I ran it from 2012 to 2015. This I did after I uh, got out of the Marine Corps. I served in 2007 and 2011 uh, Afghan campaign um, in Marja, Afghanistan. Now I uh, work on everything from your sports car all the way out to your lifted trucks. Seattle Engraving Center, the masters of gun customization, featuring incredible detailed engraving, 24 karat gold plating, diamonds, gems, murals, amazing gold accents, first class quality, 100% satisfaction. More bang for your buck from their showroom. Raise money for your charity with a one of a kind prize. Seattle Engraving, you dream it, they will create it.
your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Born to Ride.